Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and you guys know that No Me patterns drop their fall 2024 patterns. This, These patterns go from No Me 2096 all the way to 2006. So I'll be sharing that with you today. So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the 11 patterns that dropped with No Me brand, okay? So this pat these patterns run from 2096 all the way to 2006. And there's a few patterns that I will be picking up with No Me brand for the fall drop. So let's go ahead and get into it. But if you are new to the channel, welcome. You know what to do, go get you something to drink. Um, some snacks, of course, and grab your notebook and let's go ahead and get into the video. So without further ado, to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, give you all the deets and the news that you can use on this video, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first pattern is Brittany J. Jones. It is 2096. All of them are Nomi, so we're just gonna get into the number to save some time, all right? So what she created was a top and a jumpsuit for this pattern. So just to get into it, this is an easy to sew pattern. It's straight leg sleeveless jumpsuit. It have waist darts at the bodice front and pant back, fly front zipper, side seam pockets, and an optional back patch pocket if you want pockets on your bootay, okay? You could complete the look of view A and view B, whether you're doing a short or a long sleeve turtleneck top as well. Now, in terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, 10 to 18 on the first pattern envelope and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Now, all of the patterns for Know Me for this collection either comes in PDF or paper pattern. Also, everyone knows that with Know Me brand, they all do their own sew along. So the QR code, scan it, and you could be taken to that sew along when it drops, okay? Now, let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric for this pattern, for view A and view B, you're gonna need any type of knit because it is a knit turtleneck top, okay? In terms of C, which is the jumpsuit, you can use chambray, cotton blends, double knit, linen fabric, ponte, or stretch wovens. In terms of the notions, you're gonna need one seven inch all purpose exposed zipper for the jumpsuit, and then one five eighth inch button as well for the front, all right? Um, make sure you check out the finished garment measurement on the back of the envelope as well if you decide to pick up this pattern. Now, this pattern reminds me of a pattern that you can hack. Now, I'm going to be picking up this pattern, but if you have the other two patterns that I'm gonna be telling you, you can hack it and pretty much achieve the same thing. The first thing that I'm gonna tell you is if you have Simplicity 1325, you can take the bodice from that and then use Brittany J. Jones pant pattern, Know Me 2002 for the pants and kind of do a Franken pattern or a pattern hack, okay? To achieve the same look and save you some coins. Now me personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this pattern because I, have both of the patterns, but I don't feel like doing all that, <laughs> just to be 100% honest with you, all right? But once again, this is 2096. Next pattern is Donnie Q pattern, and it is 2097. I'm gonna be skipping out on this pattern because I don't feel like I need it, but this is a men's jacket with scarf pattern. It is a boxy fit line jacket with built-in scarf. It has front button opening, bias bound patch pockets, side seam pocket, shape back hem, and edge finished with bias tape at the sleeves, the front, and the hemline. This is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, there's two pattern envelopes. The first one is 34 to 42, and the second one is 44 to 52, okay? Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabrics, you can use many different fabrics, chambray, cotton blends, flannel, um, lightweight denim, linen, just to name a few. You can even use tweed if you choose, okay? You're gonna need some lining fabric. Highly recommend to use cotton for it. And then for notions, you're going to need six five eight inch buttons, and you're gonna need four packs of half inch double fold bias tape. A lot of bias tape. You could also make your own bias tape as well if you have any scrap fabric. But once again, it's Donnie Q pattern. 
It's $20.97. I'm gonna be skipping out on it, but it's a cute pattern, all right? Next pattern is $20.98, which is Kishi B pattern. I'm gonna be skipping out on this one because I don't need another knit dress. And for where I live, a puffer scarf vest is not gonna be needed for me. So I'm gonna skip out on this pattern. But this pattern is a knit dress with crossover wrap neck. It has bell sleeves and invisible zipper from the hemline to just above the knee at each princess seam. So from the bottom to about thigh high <laughs> or knee, you're gonna have from that, it's gonna zip from the bottom to the knee, okay? And then the puffer scarf has lining and exposed zipper on the pocket as well. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large on that, uh, on this pattern as well. In terms of fabric, any type of knit fabric for view A, which is the dress, in terms of like the puffer vest, you can use cotton blends, you can use twill, you can use linen, linen blends as well. Um, you're gonna need some lining for the puffer vest as well. So don't forget that and you're gonna need some batting. Highly preferred medium to high loft um, bat, uh, batting for this puffer jacket as well. So along will be up whenever it's uploaded. You can also go there and see how she sewed this together, all right? In terms of notions for view A, the dress, you're gonna need two 24 inch invisible zipper. And then for B, the puffer vest, you're going to need two six inch exposed metal zipper and a pack of half inch wide single fold bias tape. But once again, this is 20.98. Moving over to the next pattern. This is Lindsay Patterns, the stitch fits. And this is $20.99, which is a children and missus jacket. Now, this is an average to, sew average to sew pattern. And this is a high neck hooded jacket. It has drop shoulders, front storm placket with hit and snap and separating zipper. It features a drawstring at the hood and hem, angled patch pockets with flaps and sleeves with adjustable straps at the wrist as well. Now, I like this pattern. I'm going to be picking up this pattern, $20.99. In terms of sizing, it's one pattern envelope. Um, for the children, it's small to large, and then for the adult, it's small to extra large on this pattern. I like the fact that it's color blocked, to be honest with you. <laughs> but let's go ahead and talk about fabric. So in terms of fabric, there's many different fabric options that you could choose for this pattern. You can use cotton blends, double knit, um, nylon, ponte, sweatshirt fleece, just to name a few. In terms of the lining, you're gonna need some cotton or polyester blend there. Um, for the notions, definitely because it's a jacket, you're going to need a medium weight separating zipper, preferably 24 inches for misses and 20 inches for children. You're gonna need some grommet as well, some elastic cording for the stopper. Um, you're gonna need that as well. So just make sure you read the back of the pattern envelope to see what notions you will need. But once again, this is $20.99. I will be picking this pattern up. Next pattern is Lydia's pattern, 2100. And this is a Mrs. Bomber jacket. Now this is an average sew pattern. It is an oversized bomber jacket that has front zipper closure, rounded sleeves, um, mandarin collar, rounded patch pockets with zipper opening and elastic waist. So I like this pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes. It's eight to 16 and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Now in terms of sizing, I'm sorry, in terms of fabric, you can use corduroy, cotton blends, um, stretch woven, soft denim, just to name a few. You're going to need some lining fabric. I'm gonna say some stash fabric <laughs> of cotton blends if you have any available that you're trying to get rid of. In terms of notions, you're gonna need a 22 inch separating zipper. And then you're also going to need a two inch elastic for the waist and two seven inch medium weight zippers as well. Once again, it's 2100 and it's Lydia pattern and I will be picking this pattern up. Moving over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is Alicia Grace pattern. It's 2101. This is a knit top and skirt pattern. I'm not sure if she had her baby yet, but congratulations if she has. 
If not, she has a little bit ways to go for sure. Um, but this is a knit top and skirt pattern. It is hooded wrap crop top. It has drop shoulder, self fabric ties and elastic at the sleeves and the waist. It features a full length skirt with elastic waist. It has contrast eye panels and snap closure on the side. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, this two pattern envelopes eight to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the second pattern as well. Now, because it says knit, so what type of fabric will you need for this is knit, okay? So in terms of notion, you're just gonna need some elastic and some heavy duty snaps. So make sure you look at the back of the pattern envelope in order to see what fabric you will need as well as what notions you will need for this pattern. Once again, it's 2101. I'm on the fence if I wanna pick this up, I probably won't, but I do like the jacket. I'm not 100% sold on the skirt, but I do like that jacket. So I may just pick it up for the jacket as well. But once again, it's 2101. Moving over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 2102, Neff's pattern, the corny rainbow. And this is a Mrs. Bomber Kate. Now I'm on the fence with this Bomber Kate pattern because I like the bomber jacket, but I am i don't wear capes to be 100% honest. Um, so I don't know what I would do with this pattern or if I would make it, but I like what she did with this pattern, if that makes sense. But this is a bomber cape pattern. It has zipper front, rib knit collar and hem, side seam pockets and a fringe detail along the cape edges as well. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large on this pattern. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you can use cotton blends, denim, linen blends, sweatshirt fleece, or terry fleece, just to name a few. Lining fabric, cotton blends, just to tell you that as well, you're gonna need a separating zipper because it's kind of like a bomber jacket, even though it's turned into a cape. You're going to need some rib, rib knit trim as well, for that bomber style of the collar, as well as the waist bottom, the bottom waistband as well. But once again, this is 2102. I may pick this pattern up. I just don't know yet, all right? But let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern. Next pattern is 2103. This is Nikki Brooks pattern, or Beauty Jador. This is a line coat and two lengths, and this is a double breasted coat and two lengths. It has the front button opening, a squared shoulder with shoulder pads, which is optional for sure, but for this coat, you may want those shoulder pads. Um, it features a collar and lapel, front pockets with flap, well, breast pocket on the left side, and a back vent. Now, this is an average to sew pattern. It comes in two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 on the first one, and 18 to 26 on that second pattern envelope. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric, it's, you could use gabardine, tweed, even wool or wool blends. Um, lining fabric, it suggests cotton blends or polyester blends as well. Now, in terms of notion, the only thing you're gonna need is four, three, four inch buttons and a pair of half inch shoulder pads. Now I will be picking this pattern up, even though your girl don't need a coat in a style. I'm just saying, but I like this pattern, so I'm gonna pick it up and try to make it lightweight, all right? But once again, it's 2103. Moving over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is my girl Raven from Raven Marine. I am so excited for her pattern, first pattern from Raven. Hope to see more patterns from her as well. But this is a shirt, pant, and cummerbund um, pattern from Raven. It is a classic button down shirt. It has contrast on the placket, yoke, collar, collar bands, and the cuffs, okay? So it's basically color block, all right? And then she also have the white leg pants that I am super excited about. It features fly front zipper, front pleats, we span with belt loops, which is optional. If you don't want the belt loops, you don't have to put them on there. It also features side seam pockets and a full welt pocket at the back of the pants, okay? So you have the cummerbund as well if you decide to do that. It is a average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, two pattern envelopes, eight to 16, and then 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. In terms of fabric, so there's so many fabrics you could use. I'm just gonna say, make sure you look at the back of the pattern envelope because I'm gonna say any type of woven fabric would be 
best suited for view A, B, or C. In terms of the notions, you're gonna need buttons for view A, the button down shirt. You're gonna need a seven inch all purpose or exposed zipper for the pants, as well as one five eighth inch button. And then for view C, you're going to need one one inch to one and one eighth inch cummerbund bun, <laughs> um, buckle set is what you're gonna need for that. But definitely check the back of the pattern envelope in order to see the items that you will need and those finished garment measurements. But congratulations, Raven. Once again, it's a No Me 2104. Moving over to the next one. The next two patterns are Norris Donta 4 patterns. I'm gonna skip on both of them, but the first one, 2105. Now this pattern is similar to Mimi G pattern, the Annie PDF pattern that I have. Um, if you are a Soed Academy member, it was, I'm not sure if it's still the same because I have not been in my dashboard lately, but it was gifted to us in course number 33 when she gifted a lot of her PDF patterns, both for men and women, but I was a part of both the men and women, but now I'm just a part of the women, okay? But this is a men's knit turtleneck and cardigan pattern. Um, this is basically an oversized cardigan. It has the drop shoulders, neckband, front button opening, and patch pockets, okay, for the cardigan. And then the turtleneck has a roll neck and long sleeves for that turtleneck. It is an easy to sew pattern. Pattern. In terms of sizing, two pattern envelopes. The first one is 34 to 42, and the second one is 44 to 52, all right? So... With this pattern being a cardigan and a turtleneck, you're going to need any form of knit fabrics, your ITYs, your jersey, your rib knits, spandex, uh, blends, just to name a few. You can use Ponte, double knit, you get my dress. So any form of knit fabric for the turtleneck and the cardigan. It's an easy to sew pattern, so there shouldn't be any problems for you to you know, do this pattern. But once again, it's 2105. And the last pattern, also North Santa Four or Mimi G Huppy, okay? It is men's pants, okay? I'm gonna skip out on this pattern because I have a pant pattern that's similar to this pattern, but it's floor length pants. It have waistband with button and fly zipper closure elastic at the back, belt loops, front pleats, side pockets, and a single back welt pocket. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, 34 to 42 and 44 to 52 on that second pattern envelope. Now, in terms of fabric for this one, any type of woven fabric, your broadcloth, your chambray, your cotton blends, denim, gabardine, just to name a few there, and you're gonna need some lightweight fusible interfacing. Now make sure you check out the finished garment measurement on the back of the pattern. And like I have mentioned before, Whenever you decide to pick a pattern, make sure you open up the pattern envelope, make sure the instructions are there and make sure that you have the right pattern in, or I should say the tissue paper. Check that tissue paper and make sure that what you pick up is inside that envelope, all right? Now in terms of notions, you're gonna need one seven inch all purpose exposed zipper, three four shards of one and one half inch elastic and one three fourths inch button for this pattern. Once again, it's 2106. Well, those are all the Nomi patterns that drop, all 11 of those. And just to name off the ones that I will be picking up, I will be picking up Brittany J. Jones pattern. I will be picking up Lindsay pattern 2099. I will be picking up 2100, which is Lydia's pattern. I'm on the fence if I'm gonna pick up the Corning Rainbows pattern, which is 2102. I'm definitely gonna be picking up Nikki Brooks or Beauty Jador's pattern 2103. And I'm definitely gonna be picking up my Girl Raven's pattern 2104. Those are the patterns that I plan on picking up for this drop. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. Enjoy the video. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the description box below which patterns you will be picking up for the next pattern sale, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, keep sewing. Yeah, I got a story to tell. I know they want me to fail. If they throw me into a cell, I know why is she paying the bill. Cause I can afford to be quiet. My city is dying and children are crying. Be alert, not devour. 
The enemy's prowling you just like a lion But we got the keys, I promise you Hold on to the peace inside of you No, I'm not alone, you're not alone You got an army who follows you It's time to rise up, lift your eyes up Yeah, hope is on the way